What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode. My name is Johnny. This is our bus Smiles of Smiles and unfortunately Reagan is not here right now, but she's here in spirit. What are we doing this episode? We're talking about how the heck we got this house door on our bus. So if you haven't been to our channel before, if this is the first video you're watching, welcome. We're glad to have you here. Go ahead, just, you're gonna wanna click subscribe. Uh, this, this bus has already come a long way and it's got a long way to go. So this journey is not anywhere near done. But yeah, today we're talking about how to mount a house door or really any door to your existing door frame of your schoolies. After uh, how long this has taken, it is not that easy, folks. Uh, well, for me at least, I had never hung a door before. I had never made a door frame. You know, well, I never even hung a door in a pre-made door frame, let alone making a custom door frame and then hanging a door into that door frame. So this has definitely been a good challenge. Uh, one of those projects that's taken way longer than we expected it to. But you know what? That happens on Schoolie. There's another video that either is gonna come out before or after this about our gray tanks. Same thing happened there. Uh, when you're doing something for the first time and you're, you're learning, sometimes that's what happens, it just takes a little bit longer. But we're super happy with how this door turned out. Obviously, bright orange. I didn't even mean to wear this bright orange shirt today, but it is bright orange and it is nice and snug in here. A little bit more adjustment we're gonna make and then I still gotta fill the top gap above it. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that today. But first, uh, let's get talking about how we got to this point and an in-depth uh, walkthrough of how you can create your own door frame uh, in your schoolie. So you guys, if you follow us on Instagram or here before, know this orange door. So we got it for free from my brother. It's a house door. The dimensions are about 32 by 78, 80 something. Either way, not even close to the size of the actual uh, bus door. The bus door, I think, was 36 inches wide by like 88 inches tall. So definitely have some room to make up in the height department. So where the heck did I start with building this door frame that uh, I otherwise have never tried to build before? Before we start, uh, all the wood I used was pressure treated wood. I used two by fours and ripped them down to being about three inches wide to fit in the existing door frame that we had. So. I started right here at the bottom. So I knew I was gonna be putting a two by four piece here. And that way, that would give us a nice threshold. There's a few holes down here uh, where the old bolts had been. So I wanted to just cover those up and start fresh. Now, being that I couldn't trust that this was exactly level or parallel to the bus step, I didn't wanna go off of the frame of the door. I wanted to create my own square frame within the door. So I went ahead and then made this upper frame piece square to this piece here. That was really all I had to reference off of. So the idea is making a perfectly square on every single corner. There's other ways you could probably do this. All I used, this is my best friend right here. As I was going, you know, I first made this square and in order to make that square, I'll show you what you do. In order to make that square, you need to add little shims. So you see that little piece of wood right in there, and then some more there, some more there, and it gets thicker as you go up. Now, the reason it's pro or the reason it's way thicker, and I needed almost a full inch piece of shim up at the top versus at the bottom, is because although the door was the door frame should be relatively square, it's a metal door frame. That bottom piece, like I said, was clearly not square to the door frame. But I ignored the door frame and what I was focusing on was making this square to that bottom piece. So once I had this perfectly square, I drilled my way up and shimmed my way up and made sure that this was also perfectly square. I needed to make sure that both my bottom and top corners were nice and square because that's what I was working off of. So I was basically working around, making sure the first corner was square, then making sure that corner was square. And then I had something to mount my door to. Uh, so once we had that all set, we went ahead. We used the router uh, to recess the uh, hinges here. So you want to recess the hinges in your door. And as you can see here, I used some wood to metal screws about two and three quarter inches long. 
Uh, lots of them going down, but once we had the door hung, uh, Nick helped me hang it actually, got the door hung, and then we knew we could start building out this side because we knew this was nice and square down here. So we knew this was nice and square down here. This is square up here. The door looked really nice and uh, even all the way up once we mounted it. So we felt good about that side being square. So then it was just a matter of building out this side and making sure this was square to the door and the other side. Um, square here and square down here. So again, using our uh, corner square, square, I don't even know what you call it. Um, but that was my best friend again. And you can see I really didn't need much shim, but Nick and I actually did a table saw cut because we had this inch and a half piece wide of wood. Up here we only needed to be about an inch wide, but down here we needed it to be even wider than an inch and a half, which I had to shim out down here. So really it just became a matter of shimming this appropriately and then adding in our door hardware here and then also this threshold piece with weather stripping. So what this piece is doing is it's stopping the door from swinging past this point. And so I'm gonna add that weather stripping along the top and then I'm also gonna put a piece in here along the inside. Another thing we did uh, afterwards, we put in this little threshold which is about an eighth of an inch tall. So one thing you wanna consider when you're hanging your door is don't hang it flush to your bottom piece because you're gonna want a threshold like this or um, they make some that are even higher that are about three quarters of an inch. But leave yourself about, I don't know, I'd say a quarter to three eighths of an inch uh, on the bottom to allow for that threshold and then also to allow for some weather stripping. So you'll see there we got a piece that goes underneath the door that has these ribs. So when it shuts on the raised threshold, it creates a nice seal under there and we've got that weather stripping uh, to provide uh, or eliminate some draftiness and anything coming in here. So the only thing we haven't done yet and the one thing I gotta do yet is filling in the top of the door. So right now I just put this weather stripping in and I'm still trimming it a little bit, but the door shuts pretty solid. I like it, it feels really solid. When we lock it, it feels really good. I still gotta program the combo lock, but I'm gonna focus on what we're doing up here in which I'm gonna show you guys. I've got about six and a half inches to build up up here, so I'm gonna be bolting a four by four post up in here and then adding uh, two one, uh, two by fours to it, uh, just to build up that height. That's what we're gonna do right now, and then uh, we'll show you guys the finished product. So let's get going. Here. So this is a four by four up here that's drilled into, we have like a big plate that goes into the door. You may have it, uh, chances are you do in your door because there's a bunch of door opening mechanisms up there, especially if you have a uh, uh, electronic door. And so that four by four is bolted with three bolts up through the top. And then these two by fours, I ripped down to only be three inches wide. And that's just to match this and to match what these are sitting in. And then these are drilled in with three inch screws. So those are nice and secure. And so when I close the door right now, uh, there's about maybe a quarter inch gap or so um, 
nice and even all the way across. I had to shim it a little bit on this side just to help even out the gap. It probably would have been okay since I'm gonna be putting this weather stripping in there, um, but just to make it an even gap and so it wasn't uneven, I shimmed it a little bit on this side just on the very last board before securing it. Really happy with, I mean, this is pretty much, look at this. Look, our door is sealed up. How cool is that? So uh, I'm gonna put this piece of trim here. This piece of trim is gonna go in here with the weather stripping facing forward uh, and acts as a threshold just like this one I got here. So uh, this is just helping seal off the top and then we'll do one uh, over here on the other side to get a full seal all the way around the door. So let's get rocking. All right guys, and just like that, the door is done. Uh, so let me show you the final touches on it here. Opens and closes nice and snug. So you can see we went ahead and put our threshold in here. So threshold with the weather stripping on the front. So we made this nice and snug so that way this gets compressed and closes off that gap nice and snug. Did it all the way on this side as well. It's pretty easy. I did trim these a little bit thinner. It is sealed up nicely along the edges. And then like I said, the bottom is all nice and sealed up with our threshold and the piece that we got here on the bottom of the door. So the last thing I did put in there is this little guy here, which slides upwards. Uh, and I made a little hole, made a little hole on the inside here. So I'll probably have to redo this a little bit just to get it to do exactly what I wanted to do. But let me show you. So the door closes, you know, closes nice and snug. But for whatever reason, the top just has, still has a little bit, I mean, tiny little bit of play in it. What that thing on the inside is gonna do is it's gonna give me the ability to shove it up in there. So when we're driving, uh, it's hopefully not rattling and, and causes any uh, shaking to stop. Uh, if there is any, I don't even know if there would be, but also just a little added security. So it doesn't hurt, kind of like a second deadbolt, so to speak. Um, but we're all set. So real quick here, we wanted the quick set. Can't exactly remember the model. I'll link it below, uh, but quick set keyless entry here. Obviously you still have the key option and then the option here. Now, one thing to note is I made the door so it's real it's pretty darn snug and the reason I wanted that and what I mean by that is it kind of like you know takes a, a, a doesn't take a lot to close it but you know it closed by itself just like that but then when it is closed uh, there's no play the door is super snug in there and then even when you go and close the deadbolt even more it kind of sucks it in so the deadbolt doesn't go completely smooth. You have to do a little bit of a push in, but like I said, I'm okay with that because for um, a driving perspective and just a moving perspective in general, it's gonna bring down the amount of rattling we maybe would have. So it's really snug in there, uh, which I really, really, really like and feel good about. So gotta put some AA batteries in here and then we're set, so. All right, well, that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope it turned out to be okay, and I hope some of my explanation helped a little bit. Like I said before, I had never even hung a door, let alone made a custom frame, and a lot of the videos and information I was finding out there um, was either people who found doors that fit in their frame well, or 
um, if they did do something like this, it wasn't necessarily um, super well explained. So hopefully my brief explanation, I didn't do as much as we were going along, obviously, um, but hopefully my explanation here of how we did this helps. If it did help, please go ahead, give us a like, a thumbs up, uh, drop a comment, what you found helpful. And uh, if you have any more questions, of course, if you have more questions, please comment below, reach out to us on Instagram, reach out to us here, uh, however you prefer to do it. Um, but we want to help you guys out, uh, especially knowing that this is kind of a weird thing to be doing, but this is going to make all the difference in the world when it comes to our heat and uh, security and everything. So multiple reasons we wanted to put this door in here, but so glad we did and super glad with the way it has turned out. This is definitely um, better than I thought it was going to considering uh, my lack of skills with doors and hanging doors. So just let that be a note to you guys on your bus. You can do more than you think you can. Uh, and this is a great example of us just learning as we're going and just doing the right research, knowing what you're doing goes a long way. So that being said, so happy to have you guys uh, along with us on this video and thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.